What's up, y'all? What's going on? Try you a little bit of the projects I got going on here. You got the solar power panel here, camera. Got some lights and stuff that are all hooked up to uh, solar. Got some projects to do in the bathroom. Just kind of showing you a little walk through my day. And look what I found right here on the ground. This is a drumstick uh, plant. Or moringa. Look at that. Fresh moringa seeds. I did a whole video on that. So this is where I get the seeds. It's called the drumstick. You can actually cook this like asparagus. It's really good for you. Take your machete. Head on out. This is where it gets real fun. See, I got these uh, aloe vera. I got to split these babies up. Look how many there are. Just lush. Just thriving like crazy. Like this cactus palm plant here. Look at that, isn't that just wonderful? Look at that. You don't want to mess with that sucker, do you? I know I wouldn't. Okay, so we go over here. This guy will poke the hell out of you too. You gotta be careful with these spear yuccas. Oh yeah, there's another one of them cactus fucks. Look at that shit. Ah dang, but the beautiful flowers. Look at that spiral, you got that Fibonacci going on there. Just gorgeous. Look at the colors, the pink, the different. Sentimenta, you know, impedimenta of nature before us. So I got some stuff I got to do here. The banana plants. Here's our moringa tree. Put that in a jug of water. You can just start to eat them. I come by and eat it like it's a salad throughout the day. And I got all the different plants here. So I got the camera set up. Solar panel. Nice. Got a moringa tree right here. I think I talked about that in the last video. I used to do videos like this in the fan page. We had over 250,000 we've reached. Just like TikTok, I had 100,000 followers on TikTok before they uh, shadow banned us. So I was going to do a video, actually introduction, on locals.com, this website for Black Sun Viking and Black Sun Empire. Um, where there's no advertisements, there's no, um, no censorship. So it's like a social media site. That's our own platform. It's our own like social media, Facebook site, but thing where it's a community, you can subscribe and, uh, you'll get updates without censorship from me on my side. And plus you don't get any advertising and all the other junk. <laughs> there's a thatch we need to take out. There we go, baby. I actually have, I just pulled tons of loose end wheat, uh, wood uh, branches off various things. So I'm just kind of trimming, kind of pruning. See, we got some here. I pulled a whole pile. There's, there's a big pile over there. There's a big pile over there. So that makes for a good old bonfire, if you know what I mean. Then there's uh, one of my favorite. Look at that, that new spear there. See that sucker? Yeah, and, uh, it's like a bird's paradise. Let's see these are dead here. Yeah, yeah, got it with one arm. I'm not even. That one don't want to come out, does it? It's one of those kind of like a banana. There we go. Okay, got it. There we go. So we put that on the side. Try to get all this stuff off of the off the side here. To get a ladder. You know what would really be nice? A damn freaking like a blowtorch, like a flamethrower. You just flamethrow this shit right off and burn it down. But or you could just if I get a chainsaw, I can cut that guy right right there. This is a how you know a female from a male? This is a female tree right here. This is a female tree too right here. My grandma, Pauline Eberhard Ingel Engelmeyer, taught me about plants and trees. My grandpa is a, basically a botanist almost. Or, and he's into horticulture. He did great vines and he has his own winery before he, he left us. Um, you see the bee? Just like anything with bee right there. 
it's a female tree female so that means the the ones that are straight up like this there are the males right so we got this tree here kind of like see these we don't need that we don't need that see uh, just cleaning it up clean up the place you know make it look nice for people who come by and stay or what have you all right so yeah i guess this is my introduction i was going to do a different introduction for welcome to locals uh dot something people.com i put a link maybe down below so basically you can get all my content because I lost over 14 years worth of work uh, from plot palm trees. And, um, you know, now the plot palm trees has kind of moved into the Central American estate. And, um, yeah, so there's that because we reached so many millions of people throughout the years with their Zanny videos, educational research. I did real research, scrupulous studies, live experimentation. And a true tropical Missouri story, which now has moved over to the tropical um, paradise oasis of Central America, Belize, if you will. And this has been an exciting time in my life. And um, I can't say that I'm any happier. I've ever been any happier than I am now. Um, just kind of learning, learning more each day, progressing, moving forward, building and hoping for the best you know um it's really every, all anyone can ever do right so nice that we got the uh, surveillance around all parts of the house for your security let's stay at our airbnb it is amazing i love those palm trees bamboo look at this guy just hanging man Ooh. It's a hanging cactus off that tree. Look at that. Is that not just, isn't that just wonderful? My God, look at that. It's wrapped like a snake all around this tree. Would you, would you take a look at that? You ain't climbing that, that tree. It's like, uh-uh. Wow. Amazing, huh? It is very sharp. These guys are sharp. Tree climbing cactuses, baby. Yes, they resemble a snake. So it probably keeps a... Uh, like predator or rodent type creatures off of it, I would imagine. We've had a jaguars or black panthers or something up in here. I've seen there's a banana plant. It's kind of hanging in there. It just needs to be watered. When they're when they're more solid like that, they just need a lot more water. They like so I might move it to where there's more more of the rain. Of course, you go back into the lush jungle and. We had to clear that if you were watching us from the get-go in the beginning uh we had this where it was all basically just a jungle and we had to clear it and then put layers of concrete down and then we got the water system set up so i gotta clear i gotta clear all this all these this, uh, branches Always got plenty of work to do out here, and I think that's what's great. Just oxygen, fresh air, pure water. It just keeps you motivated, keeps you going. And uh, until you work your brains out and you're sweaty, you go inside, take a shower, that nice well water. No fluoride here in that regard. And this is our uh, clothesline for the clothes. You just put that on there and strap it to a tree, and then you can dry your clothes off there take a bike ride into town go to the bakery the butcher and go down to the beach we have our own beach i call it plots paradise beach on serenity road and um it's kind of like secluded to your own beach so could go fishing there and uh yeah fun stuff i gotta say I think that's about it for the update. I'm just going to be doing some trimming with my machete. Get to see all those branches that are there. <coughs> we got a lot of solar panel stuff set up. And things like that. I have a lot of work with these superfoods. I'm amazed that all these superfoods did germinate. And uh, coming out. 
coconut tree over there. We've got a lot of coconuts uh, trees. So, uh, yeah, I didn't get to say, man, I woke up to a nice, we got a couple gallons of fresh dripped coconut water. There's just nothing like it in the world. That's got H2, H3O actually, which we should be drinking. And that revitalizes and replenishes all cells of the body, which will make your skin, hair, and nails just perfected. And, um, overall your health, you know, and this is also why I promote taking Celtic sea salt and take a little dab of it on your tongue, let it kind of, uh, salivate in your mouth for a while. And then, then you drink your water and I'm telling you, you, that's the ultimate way to absorb because it helps absorb things, right? Food in general. So it absorbs the, uh, H2O deeper in, into your cells. Of course, you know me, I always suggest don't drink coffee. I've been on this this year, uh, especially 2025, going to continue my journey on um, ceasing to consume stimulants of any sort, alcohol, Kratom, even coffee. So merely just eat meat, um, gaze at the sun. I walk around barefoot usually in most cases, unless I'm working. Sometimes I work with my in my bare feet, though. And then, um, what else? So I just drink water. It's kind of, I guess, a boring diet, but I do feel better. I will just uh, note on that. My report is I feel like a kid again. As far as, you know, when you were a kid, you didn't have very many vices yet. So, of course, after about a couple months, six months, and then to get to that year point, you begin to feel phenomenal, especially if you uh, take into consideration. Look at that dragonfly. There's a couple of them. They're big suckers. Look at that. Woo, look at you. Yeah. And then, uh, of course, there is the eagles and hawks that fly over, too. I love seeing those guys. I'll take a little skyscrape through. So there you have that. And... Um, so yeah, I just wanted to kind of update on that. And then of course, semen retention for all you guys that are following the Black Sun Vikings. Stay strong and continue on. Stop looking at porn. Stop looking at women objectively in that regard. There's just it's everything. Just keep it natural. Keep it normal and stuff like that. Um, it's just not, it's like today, psychologically, this is so much polluted toxic imagery and things that you can consume that are uh, not going to be good for your overall homeostasis, state of well-being, your mental psyche. So uh, with that said, this has been Earthman Eric Plot. I probably will do an introduction video for locals because I think you're supposed to keep it to one to two minutes, but we'll just say this is the longer version of that. And um, oh yeah, I did want to show you guys my flowers here. They look like petunias, but I'm not sure exactly what these are. Tropical petunias, maybe? I don't know. I just love how everything's so lush here. As a gardener, as you know me for 14 years as your palm tree supplier, the Midwest, for cold, hardy palm trees and other exotics. It's a dream come true to be here today, before you all, with all the different variations of palm trees, yuccas, banana plants, Moringa trees, soursop, gra gra guabana, graviola. Um, you know, we could have anana maricata, um, you know, uh, marifica, the uh, mangosteen, and uh, durian, and the different, the different superfoods, you know, that really help enhance your health and just really keep you going. It's like a drug to feel so good. I love this air. I love this oxygen. I feel... Really good. I, my cough went away uh, due to that. So it's just, that's what happens when you have fresh oxygen. And wanted to just say that. All right. Cool, cool. And um, let me know your thoughts, what you think, and uh, if you if you want to express it or whatever. So I'm gonna go get to work, and I'll leave you with these amazing aloe vera plants today, because that is probably the award-winning abundance. You gotta pop all these off like uh, they call them pups. These are all little pups. Where am I gonna put them is the next question. Maybe somewhere down here. Stuff I gotta figure out, stuff I gotta plan out, because I am Eric Lott.